Hi everyone, my name is Harsami. This is Benny, Prashita, Janice, and Becky. So today for our group presentation, we're going to be talking about Burberry. Um, we'll have a look at their SWOT analysis, their best in analysis, five forces. We're going to see which generic strategy does Burberry use. We're going to analyze the balance scorecard and finally give some conclusions and recommendations to end our presentation. So to start off with an introduction, Burberry is a British-owned company which was established in 1856 by Sir Thomas Burberry. It specializes in luxurious products, mainly accessories and women's apparel, and it's famously known for its trench coat and its checkered patterns. So Burberry has been showing a substantial growth in the last five years, and so the shareholders have been claiming to get good returns from their investment. Okay, the other side against strengths of the Burberry brand is uh, Burberry. It's a hand-collected cotton from Peru, which is the finest cotton available in the world. The most popular product is the trench coat, which is the uh, Czech fabric and based on a Scottish tartan. And the weakness, more focus of Berber is uh, even underwear, which is doesn't consider the warmer country. And the lack of product diversity is another weakness of Berber, which two competitors have released home focus product, Fendi and Gucci. And the last one in uh, spring summer 2019 collection runway, the company received reaction for the jacket uh, with uh, notes around the neck. And the opportunity, the Chinese middle class is uh, growing due to urbanization, wages increase and improving in the standard of living. And uh, at the moment, uh, Burberry serves 14 out of uh, 48 Asian nations, which is a good opportunity for Burberry to serve remaining 34 Asian nations. And the threats are Burberry is constantly under threats by uh, imitation. And as a result, Burberry raised a case against Target, who released a line of the scarves utilizing the fabric pattern and also put the clothes industry competitors like Gucci and Prada. And the yeah, Burberry should ensure about considering all the elements like the uh, price point, presentability, customer service, innovation and design, quality and range, all satisfied by consumers who could easily walk away to another luxury store or even the greatest residence store. Um, in a nutshell, for Burberry, Burberry is for business. Let's discuss our Burberry Popular Five Forces and Analyze. These forces consist of five sections customer power, supply power, threat of substitutes, threat of entry, and threat of planting. In regards to customer power, the risk factor is assigned to the moderator high. Um, for us, this means um, seeking lowest price for highest quality and winning. Our solution is to increase in innovation to and listen to customer feedback. Another thing is attractive alternative market competition on small to the rich market. To enhance this risk, we need to build a priority improve um, service and add elements of sale. At the supply power level, this rating is low, usually associated with the risk to desire supply iconic luxury brand, suppliers replaceable. Fourteen supplies can go at low cost. Our solution will be negotiating long term contract with suppliers to secure low price over long period and maintaining outstanding relationship with suppliers. The threat of substitutes and the risk rating is high. Burger is not a, is not price competitive, which means consumers are unable to choose alternative brands of equal cost. To overcome this is to improve our service. Second risk is low release of new design. So the solution for this force further needs to increase utilization, implement a threat of new form before to reach new market. Our last risk for this force is imitation. Therefore, our solution is to create a new identifier. Threat of new entry. Risk weighting is low. Assisting Renault for quality and quality is 
fit names if you want to be a product manager. Therefore, our solution is to increase innovation and staying relevant. Second risk is time we are reliant to build brand traffic as Burberry who has 156 years of operation. Therefore, it is discouraging potential investors from financing and As the threat of new entrants is low, and Burberry should maintain focus on at the same vitals. The last goal, threat of rivalry and this rating is high, no moderate for the presentation, and therefore our solution is to increase presentation. For example, top designer to create a connection exclusive for Burberry. Another thing is to keep eyes on the company. Our solution for this point is increase individual market and share, especially in Asian Pacific, through online service giving assessment. Thank you. The plans are not probably for the political part. We've got the political relationship and instability in Europe is the best case. Around 60% of the of probably dramatic has come from Europe. Since the start of Brexit, the British farm dropped, so it costs more to import materials from Europe, but when you put a critic on more the farm appreciates, so cost of materials goes down. This shows probably may be affected due to this fluctuation. For the economical, economic stability in consumer consumer countries and exchange, due to the economic stability in consumer country and exchanges can be influenced in Europe, as the growth of Hong Kong has slowed down, resulting to a decline in popularity amongst the Chinese tourists. Due to the US dollar, taking the US market is underperforming mainly caused by low demand and increase in tourism. For the social economical, cultural, demographics, and shopping requirements, the customer that covers packets have different lifestyles and cultures. For instance, the dress code of consumers may vary and diverse communities with prefer different content products. Robbery has consistent has to consider such factors while designing, distributing, and marketing their goods. For technological, rate of technological growth and e-commerce, since 2006, Burberry can consistently adopt the latest technologies in order to stay ahead in the real world of the e-commerce. It engages the latest artificial intelligence in order to improve their sales and customer satisfaction by having customers experiences through their loyalty and reward programs. For the environmental, we have climate change and cotton supply. Due to the climate change and cotton supply, Burberry is currently aware of potential environmental risks that may face on daily basis. They said that we accept some risks that are unavoidable. For example, then focusing on its costs being the most famous, but will have would be affected when the weather is warmer. For the legal, Potential changes in import taxes and regulations due to Brexit. Potential changes in import taxes and regulations due to Brexit will result in the import of goods, which will be applied by tariffs. The passing of Brexit will result in the implementation of the World Trade Organization's approved tariffs on the imported goods. It is expected that the UK is following the EU common tariffs and will apply it to the import. This gives businesses a custom duty knowledge that will be applied to the product when transporting. According to Ford's original generic strategy, Burberry utilizes focused differentiation, targeting each market and providing unique products. To maintain this differentiation and scarcity, Burberry only releases two major collections per year. In 2017, the Board of Burberry considered a need to sharpen its strategy and announced continuation of this in the 2018 financial reports, involving improving communication, customer experience, and establishing complete initiatives as customers are demanding personalization and innovation amongst intense competition. As Burberry is achieving success in niche differentiation, it is recommended that they maintain this. Being in a position to expand and competing firms, Fendi and Gucci, having released home decor brands, provides an opportunity for Burberry to expand their market and customer base. 
This new emerging market of luxury homewares is currently absent from Burberry's offerings and most competitors. Thus, it is recommended that Burberry adopt a dual strategy toward broad differentiation. In order to do so without damaging the parent brand and prestige, it is recommended that Burberry uptake a new home decor subsidiary brand. By engaging a new brand under the parent, Burberry can utilise brand association to their advantage through cost marketing. A subsidiary brand provides more security than releasing new products under the parent name, as scarcity is the primary factor in maintaining prestige. This opens up a new market of consumers seeking luxurious, unique homewares, which is sold under a separate label, ensures that customers are not bombarded with the Burberry brand, resulting in excessive exposure and brand dilution. This protects the parent brand for reputation and prestige damages, should the new lines fail. A Bain Co study estimates that the percentage of luxury purchases of Generation Y and Z will grow to 45% of the market by 2025. At this point in time, the mean ages of these two generations will be 29, which correlates with the average first home buyer ages across China, the UK, and the US. Harnessing this, along with the growing Chinese upper middle class, targets these generations' tastes and values as they progress towards home ownership and purchasing of luxury goods increases with global development. Now coming on to the values poker. Um, basically summarizes the strategic objectives of Burberry, key performance indicators and strategies initiated by which they can achieve those objectives. So for the financial perspective, Burberry wants to grow globally and not just in its home country, so they can monitor the number of stores they actually operate in various countries, and the way they can achieve it is by investing in new retail store locations. They also want to increase their revenue so they can monitor the revenue and growth every quarter, and one strategy to achieve it can be from the customer perspective, definitely retaining the existing customers and acquiring new ones is essential for the business. So the way they can do it, the monitor, they can monitor the customer service satisfaction ratings as well as the acquisition ratings for the IT programs. So by improving and monitoring, monitoring their quality, they can achieve so. They can review the frequent staff reviews and highlight the benefits of and importance of the IT programs. For its internal business processes, Burberry wants to make sure that it reduces its operating costs. So it's important to monitor the difference between the operating profit and operating profit to the net profit. Um, so by reducing its selling distribution and other period costs, waste pages, it can help uh, improve its efficiency and effectiveness. Um, they can also monitor the focus group feedback along with the consumer feedback. They can increase the R and D budget. From learning and growth perspective last week, which is all about their employees and the staff, they can improve their, the main aim is to improve their customer service skills. So one of the strategic initiatives is implementing regular staff training sessions. The performance indicators is to set up the minimum number of hours they spend on the customer service skills. Another goal for them is to increase the retail staff motivation to motivate the staff work better. Staff turnover statistics can be much implemented every quarter. Uh, they can set the sales targets for the financial bonuses for the retail staff so that they know what are they actually working for to achieve. So, in conclusion, I will provide a summary of finding and analysis of Burberry and the luxury fashion industry by using short, tested, and focused fire process analysis methods. Our recommendation of a new subsidiary brand of home decor will be supported by investing in new retail locations and to increase global presence and monitor revenue, engage R&D department and increase budget, initiate focus group studies, set sales targets of retail employees. And by engaging in this recommendation and monitoring the key performance indica indicators would guide their way toward the overall goal to extend their target market whilst maintaining luxury statutes and prestige. Thank you very much.